This is not a film about your average citizen and a dog. If you're thinking about Wallace and Gromit, you're actually correct in terms of the name and the concept, but no, it does not involve anything of that kind. But instead, it tells a story of a shy, quiet man from a simple rural part of Thailand named Pod, played by Mahasamut Buniru, who traveled to Bangkok to work despite his grandmother's warning of him growing a tail if a job was found. His first job ended up being at a sardine packing plant, where he lost his finger and ended up changing his job. His new job was a security guard, and has allowed him to meet a lot of people. But in particular, one that captured his attention and made him break out of his shy bubble was a woman who worked as a maid in the same firm as him, named Jin. Played by Sang w o n g k e t Yu Tong, Jin had always had a dream to read the mysterious white book that fell from the sky. She says, and in turn, the both of them sparked a conversation and a budding romance was formed. However, it was not like your typical romance. There were moments of up and downs, and Pod never gave up and made it his mission to win over Jin's heart. This Thai romantic comedy film is based on a novel called. Oh, no. The story was brought to life by Thai director We Sit Sa Sa Ne Chong. This film is the very definition of artistic, as it featured elements of the French impressionism, surrealism, and the German expressionism. Looking at the element of French Impressionism, or better known as the Impressionist theory, it is a style derived from the director's beliefs about cinema as an art form. Often, the use of Impressionism expresses the beliefs of poetry and manifestos. For example, within the walls of Pod's house, he thinks all of the things in the house is gin, causing posters and light bulbs to change into the face of gin. Surrealism is one of the more unique ideas and storylines. Surrealism relies on the contrast of symbols, images, or actions to create a world outside of reality. It essentially is a bizarre or vivid imagery that often comes in the form of dreams or nightmares. They give the audience a sense of escape from reality. In the movie, it can be seen through the scenes of Pod working at the sardine packing plant. The scenes in which they work is impossible to take place in reality. Aside from that, the scene in which Pod accidentally sliced off his finger and then proceeds to reattach it a few days later was very much dramatized. In reality, if one were to have their finger sliced off, they would most definitely bleed out, and the finger would have been dead and not be able to reattach again. Lastly, looking at expressionism film movement, better known as the German expressionism, it can be seen that this is by far one of the more hard to interpret and define. Often, this style helps convey emotional and psychological states rather than a realistic representation of the world. It can be seen when Jin is reading a magazine and proceeds to call out the name of the male main from the story within the magazine. You can see that it's merely just a figment of imagination. Another scene in which the use of expressionism can be seen is when the character from the magazine reappears, but this time with his lover, and a very backlit moment happens, almost mimicking an angel appearance effect. Overall, this film is definitely a very interesting concept and dabbles into the three film movements mentioned earlier, which are impressionism, surrealism, and expressionism. To me, when watching the film, it reminds me a little of a Wes Anderson film through the use of the color and the way in which the story was told. It is definitely unique. I would recommend this to all my friends and family, and you guys should check it out too.